sampling distribution applet found at the onlinestatbook.com website. When you um, access this, you will see some instructions here. And I think what uh, might be important to point out is that uh, we can compute a sampling distribution for any type of a descriptive statistic, such as the mean, standard deviation, variance, and so forth. So let's begin uh, the applet uh, by pressing that button. And uh, I'm going to bring the applet here into the screen. And the first thing that you will see is a normal distribution at the top. Uh, and that is our parent uh, population. Uh, it has, let me reset this. Uh, it has a mean of 16.00 and, and an identical median. Um, it, the skewness and kurtosis are also uh, zero. So let me uh, take just a minute to explain what skewness and kurtosis is and how that might be represented both in the uh, distribution and the descriptive statistics uh, that uh, represent them. So let's first begin uh, with this idea of skewness. And um, I'm going to create, uh, just by dragging my mouse, a uh, highly negatively skewed distribution. And you know that it's negative because the tail points in the direction of the skew. We also see that uh, the valence, or the sign of the skewness uh, skew statistic, that is, is a negative 0.64. Uh, similarly, if uh, I had created a strongly uh, positively skewed distribution, um, then we would see that the skewness has a positive valence. Um, now then, let's look at kurtosis. And this statistic uh, is a measure of the peakedness of a distribution. So, for example, if I had a distribution that was very peaked, something that kind of looks like this, um, we would see that uh, it has a smaller standard deviation than uh, what we began with, uh, but we also see that the kurtosis is positive. Um, if I had created a more platycurtic or, or uh, uh, uniform distribution, then the kurtosis statistic would be negative. And you can also see how uh, this affects the standard deviation. So I'm going to reset this again. And you can see that I can um, create a normal or a uniform distribution. Uh, a skewed distribution uh, or uh, any kind of a distribution that I that I would want to here. So I'm going to reset it to normal. Um, this applet uh, will draw five samples from this parent population and uh, place them here. And then uh, it will compute a mean of those samples and um, represent it here. So I'm going to go through uh, an animation. It runs rather slowly because I have a screen recording going on. But you can see that it uh, has now pulled three samples from the distribution. Uh, most of them are falling uh, around the mean of 16. But uh, just randomly, some of them are, are less than 16, and some of them are more than 16. And then from this, uh, the applet has computed the mean of these five samples and uh, represented it here. And this is a sampling distribution, and this is the first um, mean of means, or sampling mean, that has been pulled. Uh, I'm not going to do the animation, but what I'm going to do is to have it to draw five more samples. And um, you can see that 
uh, here what we've done is uh, uh, computed the mean of these uh, now six samples and it's still fairly close to uh, the mean of the population. Uh, I'm now going to compute a thousand samples and you can see that uh, the distribution of uh, the sampling distribution appears to be normal. Um, so let's clear uh, this and what I'm going to do now is to create um, a distribution of the parent population that is certainly not normal. Uh, it looks like it is bimodal or even uh, it could have three modes to it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is to um, draw five samples from this and uh, the, they are recorded right here and uh, there's not really much that you can see yet but uh, let's go ahead and draw a thousand samples and you can see that the sampling distribution of these sample means is normally distributed we'll put a normal curve over it even though the parent distribution is certainly not normally distributed therefore the assumptions that we have on many of our statistical tests uh, have to do with the uh, normality of the sampling distribution, not the normality of the parent distribution. So, uh, as I said earlier, uh, that we can uh, create uh, sampling distributions not only for means, but also for other types of statistics. So, let's create a sampling distribution for the standard deviation. And uh, what we're going to do here is that we will uh, not only draw the means, but we're going to compute a standard deviation around each of those means. And we're going to compute a distribution of, of those standard deviations here. And uh, I will uh, just change the distribution slightly. And um, we'll go ahead and... Um, uh, draw 10,000 samples just to speed the process up and you can see that uh, not only is the sampling distribution of means normally distributed the sampling distribution of the standard deviation is also normally distributed so um, this is how uh, you would uh, run through this uh, applet I would encourage you to um, uh, you know begin um, with a uh, maybe a regular normal distribution and go through some of the things that uh, I just uh, went through and explained and and I hope that this is uh, helpful as you gain a clearer understanding of a sampling distribution.